guys, it's Denise here with Team Two Moms. We have a special guest here, as you can see. This is Tristan. I'm gonna go ahead and let you introduce yourself. And totally. Go ahead. Uh, I'm Tristan, and I'm one half of Biff and I. That's sort of our my family's online life. Um, and I work for the Family Equality Council. Um, we support LGBT parents all over the country and people who want to become parents. And that's the part that I get to do. That's an awesome job. Yeah. I think he's living the dream. I, it is my it's my dream job, <laughs> and, and I love it. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Tristan has a special inspirational story about how his family was formed, and I want you to go ahead and share that story. With us. Sure. Uh, well, to start with, I'm transgender. So I was born female. I've been living as a man for the last 15 years or so. Mm -hmm. um, and I, when I transitioned, I really thought I was giving up having a family. In fact, I didn't even think I would find someone to like fall in love with and have a life with. That wasn't really? something I'd ever seen. Oh. I did not think it was possible. I thought I was choosing between living my authentic life and ever finding love. And then I met my amazing partner. Um, and about one year into our relationship, we got a phone call that his sister's kids needed a place to stay. Mm -hmm. And could they come and stay with us? That's awesome. So we became parents to two kids overnight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they took um, in two kids and that's something, that's a hard decision. Because it's like, it's, your, your life changes before your eyes. You, you become, you're now this parent and you have to wake up when they, you know, attend to them and everything. Yeah. How was that? I mean, it didn't feel hard at the time because I come from a family where if a kid needs help or needs support or needs a home, like you just show up and you do it. So how old were your kids when you took them in and how old are they now? Yeah, they were one and three when mm -hmm. they came to live with us. We'd been together for one year at that point. Wow. Um, and now they are almost eight and ten. That's amazing. Yeah. And um, you also have a newborn now, right? So you, all together you have three kids, I have right? three kids total, yeah. Right. And the story with the baby okay. uh, is our adoption finally went through with the older kids and we were just like all good and settled. And I started to, to really get the itch to feel like I wanted, I was ready to grow our family. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, we really sat down and thought about it and we'd been through an, ado an adoption, mm -hmm. um, which was very difficult emotionally and financially. Absolutely, I could understand that. Yes, <laughs> um, and we would not have done anything differently with the big kids and we kind of wanted to do things a little bit more on our own terms. Mm -hmm. um, and I mentioned I'm transgender, mm -hmm. so that means that I actually have a uterus and eggs and my mm -hmm. partner is not transgender, mm -hmm. uh, so he has sperm. So between the two of us, we actually have everything we need to make our own baby. Hold up, back up. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Walk me through this one more time. Sure. I just need to know. So you're a trans man mm -hmm. who is married currently yeah. to a male and you both had... He has a sperm. He does. He is not transgender. So he he's just not. like a regular okay. regular gay dude. He's not regular. He's special. But okay. You know what I mean. Yes. Yeah. And you carried. Yeah, so I like went to the doctor, I did a bunch of research, and this has happened hundreds of times before. Wow. And now there's quite a bit of data that shows that our birth outcomes, our likelihood of having you know, happy, beautiful babies are the mm -hmm. same as anybody else. Absolutely. So I stopped taking my testosterone, which is like going off Depo or some yes. other like hormonal birth control. Mm -hmm. And I got my cycle, I started ovulating, and mm -hmm. we started trying, and I got pregnant, and I had a baby. Uh, after about 30 hours of labor, um, and which Biff was great at supporting me through. <laughs> um, and it's, he's been super easy so far. We've heard the first 24 hours is supposed to be easy, so. He's beautiful and healthy. Very healthy. And the next time somebody tells you that men can't have babies, <laughs> show them this video. I, I was pregnant as well, as you guys know, on this channel, um, and I had the twin boys. And um, for me, it was really difficult for, for me to accept how my body was changing, especially after I gave birth. Um, I noticed a lot of changes in my body, and my breasts were, were bigger. Um, just Those hips never things. really go exactly. back. Exactly. Those hips, exactly. Yeah. How did you deal with that? from your perspective as a trans man? Yeah, you know, honestly, I really love science. And so I kind of tried to ignore like what my body was doing in the gender way mm -hmm. and just get really excited about all the cool things that were happening, like the development and like, oh, this is the week when the baby starts to get fingerprints. Mm -hmm. This is when the baby can start to hear our voices and we'll remember them after he's born. So I just try to like really geek out about that and be like, this is so cool yeah. that I get to be a man and have a baby. Like who gets to do exactly. that? You know, exactly. so I just try to focus on what was like cool and unique and science um, and try to not pay as much attention to 
it being pretty stressful that my body was changing. And then um, I noticed that you got a lot of media attention with being a trans man that was pregnant. Um, did you receive any backlash for being a pregnant trans man? Yeah, well, you know, we decided to go public with our story because um, we wanted more people to know that it's possible. Like, I think about me mm -hmm. at age 20 thinking about, like, oh, I'm never going to have a family. No one's ever going to love me. Mm -hmm. And I still meet young transgender youth mm -hmm. who have that same feeling. Like, that's not possible for me. And I wanted them to know that, like, no, you can do all do the that. things. You can have anything you want. All the doors are open to you. That's so inspirational, guys. Like so, <laughs> well, I mean, we, we wanted to do that, yeah. you know, and so that you know, we could be that message that we wish we'd had. Absolutely. So we did go public um, and uh, we got like a pretty, like a big mix. I'm sure that you all get your own comments. Yes, we do, yes. You can have like the most- I got my occasional like, well, but you're pregnant type of a thing. Um, you're the more aggressive person in the relationship type of co comment, so you know. And, yeah. and, and I was, and I put it out there as well mm -hmm. to show, you know, um, the spotlight on that it's able it's it's possible guys yeah. anything is possible anything is possible yeah exactly. that's right yeah and so there was totally some backlash um but then also like what we heard that was positive mm -hmm. was really amazing especially a lot from like moms and grandmas and and dads really? like i heard from dads who are like so. my 17 year old just came out to me as transgender and i'm worried that i'll never have grandbabies and now i know that i can and you know there's things like that that is just like it's really good yeah how was your transition after you gave birth to your child like um with the testosterone going back onto the testosterone and just adjusting to being the person you ultimate one of the beat. Yeah, well, one thing to know about testosterone is it affects your body in some pretty permanent ways. Okay. So, like, I kept my beard through the pregnancy. It didn't, like, fall out. My voice didn't change, nothing like that. Oh, okay. So there weren't a lot of differences, really. Um, but, yeah, just a, a few months after he was born, once the doctor said it was safe um, in terms of just, like, my healing from the pregnancy mm -hmm. and the birth, mm -hmm. I went back on my testosterone and my moods leveled way out, which I know my husband was very excited about. <laughs> Oh, because without, without testosterone, you're more moody? Yeah, well, okay. I, I think about it more like my I have access to a wider range of emotions. Okay. You okay. know what I mean? And yes. I'm sure you know when you were pregnant, when those hormones are doing those things, you can have some oh, big yes. feelings. <laughs> he was ready to have me have some smaller feelings. Oh. <laughs> um, and so were my older kids, too. Oh, so, wow. Yeah, yeah, so I started back on just a few months later, and um, I think it's helped me get back in shape, too, after, after the pregnancy. Wow. Do your kids know you're a trans man and how do you um, explain to them when they get questions from maybe other parents or kids or s such? Yeah, yeah, totally. So, I mean, of course, all my kids know I'm, I'm trans. I mean, the babies, he's just a baby, so he doesn't know yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah. But, um, uh, yeah, I mean, they've always known, and I think what we know now, it's the same with adoption or anything. What's most important is that you're honest with your kids mm -hmm. in a developmentally appropriate way, in a way that they can understand for how old they are. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's always been that way. That's been part of our family's story. We don't we have a lot of pride and very little shame about who we are, mm -hmm. so we, we try to convey that to them. And they deal with those questions kind of in their own ways. Okay. So my son chooses not to share a ton. Um, he's just a more private person than my daughter, like... All out. <laughs> all out. Like, she would talk Sounds to a like person... <laughs> oh my gosh. She will talk to a person in the grocery store and be like, I have two dads and one of them is transgender and he's pregnant and he's going to have a baby and I'm going to be a big sister. So much oh. that we sometimes have to be like, honey, oh. <laughs> that's okay in Portland, but when we... You know, when places. we leave other places, we got to choose who we... And I love that she feels free. And Absolutely. I love that she, her, her life is, Olivia is safe enough. <laughs> I mean, that's what you want for your kids is for them to be liberated and to be proud of who they are. Exactly. And I think every parent has to grapple with when do you tell kids about the realities of the world and, exactly. and how scary things can be and when yes. do you just want them to be their, like, perfect, innocent selves. So we, we grapple with that like everyone else does. Exactly. And then yeah. we're dealing with that right now. We just experienced something with Olivia mm. and... And um, how someone, you know, just said that they didn't like what she said about having two moms. But, you know, that's some, that's, you know, to, to know that you also deal with that and other um, different parents experience types of stuff. So it's just like a learning experience as a parent yourself, you know. And they have their own story as well. And, mm -hmm. and at some point you do have to back up and let them blossom, you know, let them tell the story on their own terms, however they want. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Tristan, what do you plan on achieving with putting your whole life out there on social media? 
Yeah, I mean, most people, like 80% of Americans say that they have never met a transgender person. Wow. Which is, I, I'm like, I'm right here, hello. I know. But I can't meet everyone. And mm -hmm. But this is a way that we can get invited into people's homes and in, invited into their lives so that they can say, okay, I've never met one maybe in person that I know of, but I know Tristan and I know Biff, I know their family. We want to be invited into their homes and then we'll invite them into ours so they get to know us and so it, it's de demystified a little bit about who we are. In some ways, we're so much like everybody else. Like my son loves soccer. My daughter's in dance camp right now. Mm -hmm. In some ways, we are different. Like I am transgender. My, you know, Biff is a gay man, mm -hmm. and I think that both the ways that we're similar and the ways that we're different are really powerful and, and really special. So thank you, Tristan, for coming. And Tristan's gonna go ahead and give the question for the comments down below. You guys can put your your comments down below. And what is the question? Yeah. Well, we talked a lot about being able to do things we never imagined we would. I'd love to know from you all. What did you do that you never thought you would accomplish when you were younger. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, Tristan, thank you again. And it is team two moms. One, two, three.